What is going on, Lunk Army? I got an update for you, and it's wild. It is absolutely wild what's going on right now. And I think that it's going to be a vindication in many different ways and provide Luna Classic with a tremendous pump. And I'm going to explain it to you in just a few moments. Now, before I do, uh, Weeks over here, if you haven't already, it's the only centralized exchange other than Binance that does monthly burns. Now, um, if you want to do some trading, then this is the place to go. I would highly recommend it. You can use MEXE right here, but I would recommend that you use Weeks because Weeks is still doing burns. MEXE stopped doing the burns a long time ago, and they were doing the 1.2% tax, which was, of course, taxing you. Uh, Weeks doesn't do that. What they do is they use their fees. So you are not the one that's being, quote unquote, penalized by doing it. And also, if you haven't, go check out Terra Casino. I'm going to show it to you today. There'll be a link in the description down below. Uh, and you know, let's kick this off because some very interesting stuff that's happening right now. And of course, I hope you like the new setup here. Uh, we're going to uh, break into the news right now and uh, kind of show you what's going on here. So first of all, James Hunsaker took the stand in the Terraform Labs trial today. He's a whistleblower for jump trading. If you remember uh, mo a couple times now, I've told you that jump trading was a bad actor in this space, that they were this very secretive sort of uh, place here in Chicago where I am. Uh, and they're what they do is they're just a, a, a high frequency crypto trading firm. And let me just read this to you. It, it says he filed a, an SEC whistleblower complaint against jump trading about its role in propping up Duquan's UST algorithmic stablecoin prior to its $40 billion crash. Okay. For background, Jump is a highly secretive, high-frequency trading firm with a crypto arm. Hunsaker worked at Jump Crypto before leaving to co-found blockchain startup Monad. Hunsaker testified that Jump and TFL had an important deal to boost adoption of UST. When UST depegged in May 21, he was on Zoom with colleagues when Jump Crypto president Ken Nav Korea popped in to say, I spoke to Du, he's going to vest us. After that, Bill DeSoma started directing traders to put on aggressive trades and accumulate UST, Hunsaker said. DeSoma is the co-founder of Jump Trading, and Hunsker characterized him as the real boss of Jump Trading rather than Korea. Because Terra was a big, important project for Jump, he was willing to whisk, risk a couple hundred million to do this, Hunsker testified. The SEC says Jump Trading restored the peg in May of 2021, allowing UST to live for another year. This is in May of 2021, by the way. Okay, For context, both Korea and DeSoma pleaded the fifth in deposition for the U.S. for the SEC for its Terraform Lab case. The SEC has said Jump made around $1 billion in profits from its dealing with Terraform Labs. And a crucial part of the SEC's fraud case against TFL and Duquan is that they allegedly concealed Jump's role in saving USTC during May of 2021. Uh, Quan went on to say that the UST automatically self-heals. Investors believed him. Hunsker left Jump in February of 2022. After the DPEG in May, he tried to share his experience with Reddit and an, anonymous, and an anonymous online personality. He testified he filed the SEC whistleblower complaint in August. When I saw the impact on all the victims of May of 2022, I tried to make sure there was some sort of justice and restitution. Interestingly, Hunsaker put 200000 of his own money in USTC to earn around 20% yield from Anchor Protocol. He had doubts about the UST stability, but figured he could exit quickly if needed. He sold his USTC uh, or UST on May 7 or 8 of 2022 when the DPEG was just beginning. So, you know, this guy knew what was going on, could see what was going on. And I do want to point out that it should be noted, Jump Trading made record profits that day while it was DPEGging. Does that mean that they were shorting the market? I think so. So uh, did Jump Trading have a hand in this, and I told you guys, I think they were bad actors. But what we didn't know at the time was that they had saved in May of 2021 UST from a DPEG to begin with. They had a vested interest. They were holding a significant amount. And then they sold it off. Remember, when Duquan exited, they then sold it off and, of course, shorted it during that period of time. So they sold off, got their money back off of what they had already made through Anchor Protocol, and then helped, I'm going to say Citadel at this point, uh, to capitulate uh, UST and depeg it from the dollar. So a lot of wild stuff going on. Uh, and it's very important that you guys see the the writing on the wall, if you will. There's There was an attack on on the Luna ecosystem. Uh, where does that leave us, though? That's, that's the question, right? Uh, and we're going to look at the price action in just a few minutes. But before we do, uh, please make sure, if you haven't already, go check out Terra Casino. Terra Casino, uh, you can do sports wagering, PvP poker, uh, you've got Roulette, Blackjack, Baccarat, uh, Monopoly, Jamhala, plenty of uh, different 
items that you can come over here, live casinos, um, slot machines, whatever it is that you're looking for, some game shows. And you can see right here, there's a lot of people out here playing right now. This is how quickly this thing is moving. This is just right now. Very small wagers, very big wagers, in and out, both ways. So if you are looking to do something with your Luna Classic and your board, then go check out Terra Casino. I'll put a link in the description down below so you can go check that out as you want. But let's get back to it. And let's talk a little bit about price action because, you know, a lot of people are now wondering what happens to Luna Classic from here. Where does it go? What, you know, what's what's the, the next big play? So let's check it out. So uh, from what you can see, there's, uh, and I'm using high IQ indicator. It's available for you down below. If you want to do some trading or anything like that, then uh, you can use the high IQ indicator. It's 25% discount if you use Believes, uh, or Believes 25, I believe, down in the description to go check that out but uh we saw a big spike in this last hour right now and you know we got a uh we got a short signal here on high iq uh we had a long neither one of these really played out very well uh the percentage here was 1.2 percent on that uh on that short uh then it gave you kind of a hard stop exit wanted you to get out of that and now we've got a nice little pump forming right here uh, we just waked over 16 uh 3016 so it looks like we're getting a tiny bit of reversal. There's the Binance burn coming up very soon. There's going to be the Weeks burn. Remember, if you haven't already, consider uh, starting to trade a little bit on Weeks to help out in that burn process if you're not using Binance. So uh, where do we go from here? Uh, you know, we kind of zoom out a little bit and we get an idea that we've been in that uh, area of um, uh, a, a lot of traffic, if you will. Uh, you can see right here, like that was the line. Well, now that line has moved up into this 19 range. Uh, when I zoom out, this is the volume profile. So like a magnet, it would be my estimation that we're attracted to that area in that region. And I think that that region 1900 is probably coming pretty soon. Like we're already having that breakout move towards that upside to come back here and retest this 1617 range and then get back into this little green zone right here and then make a, a nice little pump into this. Of course, we can use it as uh, support or then, you know, uh, sky's the limit. We start to make a bigger move. Uh, that bigger move would look like this kind of range right here in that 2425 area, which is, you know, what I think the next big sort of move is. So uh, that's what it looks like uh, at this point. Now, uh, before we go any further, I want to talk to you about one more thing. And, and one of the things that I've been doing is I'm um, trying to bring you projects, things that you can uh, go try out or test or you know see how they go and for the moment what i have for you is uh, a, a, a simple uh, sort of thing here that we can you know check out it's a new game and it's coming today uh, it's an mmo rts if you will uh, mmo rts means real-time strategy so if you're into strategy games uh, that's something that you like then this is going to be a fantastic opportunity for you, uh, certainly, uh, to do something. So let's get into it now. All right, guys, the game is called Terra Tritium. It's a Web3 blockchain game. Uh, it's based in the style of an MMORTS, a real-time strategy game, but it encompasses a science fiction theme with strong exploration aspects based on proof of game. The main objective of the game is mining and accumulating a rare resource called Tritium. Based on the proof of game concept, it is designed to encourage player participation in the blockchain network while providing a new opportunity to earn tokens while playing. The game explores the utility of on-chain tokens, which will be used within the Tritium challenges. It will be the object to be contested and conquered by the winner of the challenge in each round, allowing players to retain ownership of their time spent and assets earned in-game. And it's going to utilize a token-based economic model uh, designed with the Terra Luna Classic platform called the Terra Tritium token, T-R-I-T, which will allow players to acquire unique resources and items within the game. TRIT allows players to acquire unique resources and items within the game of Terra Tritium. Besides this, Tritium is used as gas fee on the Tritium bridge, where it's possible to transfer tokens from Terra blockchains to another like BSC. So there is a bridge that's going to be available and fantastic. Certainly check this game out as it launches. There'll be an announcement. I'll put a link down in the description below. If you miss it, then, you know, opportunity to check it out. So that's it, guys. Again, if you haven't already, consider uh, trading over on weeks because that gives you an opportunity to 
uh, burn some tokens if you're interested in burning tokens. And if you haven't, uh, go sign up, start playing at Terra Casino if that's your if that's your thing. Uh, you can use your Terra Luna Classic or USTC in order to, to play. It's very simple, uh, very easy to use. And uh, I'll put a link uh, in the description down below. It's terracasino.io. A lot of people over there playing. Um, I will have, if you want to wait for a day or so, uh, I'll have my own profile link. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll get that started uh, for you guys. But, you know, it's a fantastic opportunity for you to... to, to Cryptonomy.finance just launched a research section, so make sure that you go check that out today. Learn a little bit more about crypto that you may not have known before. If you are a corporate client, you can have a relationship manager uh, and a lot of customer support, superior OTC services, and institutional tools that will help you in your venture. Also, if you sign up for the VIP course, you can get in touch with high-touch wealth management personnel and a lot of different people and personalized information as you need in order to successfully navigate this crypto. Also, if you look at my moves right now, you can see that I'm earning over 106 Solana on my last staking. My Tether, I'm going to earn 1,670 on my staking so far. Uh, you can see there's some of these have, I've earned $784. I can't cash out for a while, but uh, I've earned 784 so far. And then in the launch pool, guys, if you haven't checked the launch pool out, you've got to check the launch pool. Look at these ROIs that I'm getting right now. It's fantastic. Uh, 20X on K9 Finance, 7X on Weave, on Block Jerk. Uh, if, you get, if you put a stake into this system right here, it gives you a fantastic amount of rewards. Go check this out today. If you like wagering, if you like, you know, playing these kind of games, then it's a perfect opportunity for you. So uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Uh, as far as Luna Classic goes, you can see the price action. I think we're getting ready for the pump. Uh, you can see that the news is coming out. Jump crypto, uh, jump trading was really deep involved in this. And where does that lead us to? I don't really know the answer to that yet. I think we'll have a little bit more clarity for everything in the ecosystem over the next couple of days as we get the next Binance burn and we get the first of the week's burn. And then we see you know, exactly what it looks like to see this ecosystem sort of uh, continue to build, manifest and evolve. And in fact, I was contacted by somebody. If you watch my video about the repeg, my repeg idea was given to a development team and now they're working on it. Will anything become of it? I don't know. I don't know if I even had a great idea or a good idea. Uh, I just know that somebody did take it, kind of run with it, and then I'll be talking to some people about that going forward and in the future. So uh, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, the bell to be notified of future content. And remember, this is not financial advice, but I'm always right. And go check out Terra Tritium.